five-judge panel of the New York Appellate Court's Attorney Grievance Committee ruled that Giuliani's eagerness to spread unsubstantiated claims that Donald Trump was the real winner of the November election threatens the public interest. The order states, we conclude that there is uncontroverted evidence that respondent committed demonstrably false and misleading statements to courts, lawmakers, and the public. The judges said he pushed theories that the election was stolen through fraud. The appeals court claimed Giuliani's action was magnified because of his standing as a respected attorney. A former mayor and U.S. attorney, he called the decision one-sided and not based on evidence. His son Andrew, who is running for governor, agrees, claiming the judges who made the decision had a political bias. Democrats with zero Republicans on there. Again, this is just unbelievable to see just how politicized all of this has become. I am infuriated by all of this. The 33-page suspension order comes on the eve of Giuliani's 52nd anniversary as an attorney, a profession he said he loves on tonight's Newsmax program. I'm not very happy about this. I love practicing law. It's my passion. I've done it for 50 years. I've done it for 50 years without, I think, a single complaint ever. This latest action comes just weeks after an FBI raid on his apartment as part of an investigation into Giuliani's dealings in the Ukraine. An investigation which he characterizes as it's a bunch of garbage. No question. It's a bunch Thank of you. garbage. No. Former President Trump reacted to the appeals court action, saying in a statement, Can you believe that New York wants to strip Rudy Giuliani, a great American patriot, of his law license because he has been fighting for what has already been proven to be a fraudulent election? And Giuliani's attorneys voiced disappointment that the suspension order came before a hearing. This is unprecedented. We believe that once the issues are fully explored at a hearing, Mr. Giuliani will be reinstated as a valued member of the legal profession. Now, all of this is a stunning blow to Giuliani, who was recognized as America's mayor after the 9-11 terror attacks. The order barring him from practicing law, it does take effect immediately and is temporary, pending the outcome of a formal disciplinary hearing, and that's expected in 20 days. Tamsin, Shirley.